was also present on that day, will give you the brief of the events. So the first thing is that our real heroes are the pilots who shot down the aircraft. So we are not the real heroes. They are the ones who brought us this victory. Uh, second thing that I want to emphasize is that um, we have brought you to this area, to the ground, so that you can verify whatever you want to verify. The facts that have been stated by Pakistan Army time and again, if there is still some doubt in those, you are on ground and you are free to go anywhere. You are free to interact. We have given an opportunity to you even to interact with the locals. But if you want to interact with somebody who is just roaming around, you are most welcome to do that and there is nothing to hide. And the third thing is, uh, which I want to just, from my side, I want to tell you is that uh, we are just four kilometers from the LOC. And uh, it's a regular feature here that we keep on receiving fire from the enemy. So the locals of the area are the real sufferers. We, the Pakistan Army, have our defenses and our weapons and we can respond effectively. But it is the locals who are the real people who are affected by this uh, atrocities and continuous fire of the enemy. So during the initial episode, there was a sentiment the locals were very much charged. And I think we were very lucky. And the pilot was also very lucky. Indian pilot was also very lucky that the teams of Pakistan Army were able to reach in time. Had it been a delay of about half an hour, I am not sure in what condition we would have received the pilot. And as soon as the locals reached there, just seconds later, our own officers, they got to the point and then they uh, got the pilot away from the civilians and saved him and just took him to the doctor and the rest of the story, you know. But I just want to emphasize that this is just by mere chance, just good luck to all of us. Otherwise, this is an area where it's very difficult to reach a site by knowing which track goes there. And this is not also the front where there is only army living. This is a bit of a rear area where both civilians and army they are deployed in the area. So most welcome. Uh, we'll make you comfortable. Uh, Brigade Commander will brief you uh, about the events. You can note them. Then you can interview the people who were involved in this operation. And we have uh, lunch for you. And the supply is seeing you here. Thank you so much. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Gentlemen, further to what uh, GOC said, uh, you are really at the spot where that important incident took place and that has a significance for the entire nation. I'll just be abstaining from going into more details, leaving those for you to interact with the civilians and the uh, military officers and troops who were directly involved under my orders in that operation that day. I'll be just uh, giving you uh, the just uh, outline of what happened that day, uh, being in the headquarters of this brigade. Early in the morning, the first thing at about quarter to ten, I received a sound blast. We heard a sound blast. Basically, that was uh, uh, own aircrafts breaking the sound barrier. They, its effect is like that that it gives an explosion. But instantly, I received a call from my headquarters uh, saying that. Uh, Alhamdulillah, own response is in place and it is continuing in air over above my area of responsibility. And then uh, sounds of the aircrafts were very uh, clear at that time. And instantly, uh, again, uh, after a few minutes, I received a call that uh, an aircraft has been hit and it has fallen into the rear of my area of responsibility. So instantaneously, as our training goes, our teaching goes, I just moved the nearest uh, quick reaction forces from different locations because we were not sure of the exact location that is the village Hora where uh, the uh, uh, this pilot and the wreckage has fallen. So I moved them uh, to this site and uh, Alhamdulillah they were instantaneously they reached on site but before they reached civilians were there and Abhinandan was in the, uh, surrounded by the civilians and uh, I can I am really uh, 
It gives me a lot of pleasure to say that the professionalism displayed by my soldiers there to disengage him from the child mob, you know, it was uh, remarkable that day. And uh, my instructions, instructions from division headquarters and the core headquarters were uh, emphatic about safe handling of the pilot once we knew that it's an Indian aircraft. So that was uh, ensured by my troops, by my officers over here. And it was really, it was really a difficult job. And it was very well done by the armed, uh, or, uh, my forces here. So uh, uh, from that site, my officers and men, he evacuated Abhinandan to first aid post. That was our first priority, that we should take him to the first aid and medical facility, the nearest one. And thereafter, he was further evacuated to advanced, uh, for advanced medical care. And uh, that is it. And I'll leave rest of the details. I'll not zoom in more into the further details and leaving those details to be covered by those people who have really handled him on ground, those officers, those men, and those civilians are here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I want to request that one who has been briefed now, you will use them in your report. You will use the word of the operational commander. The first time you have one thing that you have to use the name of this village, नाम है पहली दफा मेरा ख्याल है मतलब वो मीडिया में ही जाएगा जो इन्होंने विलेज का बताया है तो अभी जब जब हम वहाँ पे जाते हैं तो उसमें जैसा आपको जीओसी ने बताया कि कुछ सिविलियंस के और कुछ हम मिलिट्री के आपको लोग देंगे देन वी विल गो टू द साइट वेयर इट हैपेंड